If you've seen our channel before, we're going to take a slight detour from the usual projects and products reviews. In this episode, we're going to give you step-by-step -step instructions how to make this cute little wooden cutout just in time for spring. I'm Eddie Field with Field Guided DIY. Let's dive in. First step is, once you have your stencil, cut your board to the length so you don't have to work with all this waste. Now that is a lot more manageable. You can find a link to the template in the description below. Once you have your shape traced to the board, now it's time to break out the jigsaw. When you're cutting, try to reduce your starting and stopping because the more starting and stopping you get, the more sanding you're gonna have to do. Try and get your cuts in one smooth stroke. See the link for how to use a jigsaw. Make sure your outline is not overlapping your bench. Starting to take shape. I cut it pretty smooth, but we're still going to sand off some of the rougher edges and some of the starts and stops. Now that sanding is done, it's time to paint and stain the little guy. We're using Verithane Stain and Poly Classic Oak Gloss. Make sure you don't shake stain because it'll add bubbles. We're putting this on thick and quick. We're going to go back and smooth it out afterwards. Now we let that dry. Now he's dry, we're going to mark off a straight line with some blue painter's tape. We're going to lay it on thick. We're using Martha Stewart Multi-Surface Satin Acrylic Craft Paint. It looks like we're going to need two coats. And once the paint is applied, that's when you can do your long brush stroke. Now it's time for the big reveal. Not a bad project if you're looking for some bunny to love. Uh-huh. For more home decor project ideas, click the image on your screen now.